What you should have out right now are your notes, how to write a lab report. Focus of today is going to be talking about the lab report format and also the title. So if you need to, go ahead and hit pause until you find this document. Otherwise, go ahead and continue and watch the video. All right, the lab report format. Uh, in the simplest of terms, uh, what you're going to do are all of these when writing a lab report. You're going to include every single one of these items when you submit a lab report for an experiment that we perform in class. Along with that, there's a specific order in which you need to write each of these sections when you submit it and put together your lab report. And we'll talk about all of this stuff at the top, about the section headings, bold and underline, not to underline, all of those things we will talk about in class when it's appropriate. Right now, I just want to focus on the title. The title is the very first thing in your lab report. It's the very first page of what somebody may see when they're going through uh, your experiment that you perform. So it's the very first part of any lab that you have completed. The purpose of the title is to tell a story. It's to tell the person who's reading your report what it is that you did. What was the actual purpose? It could have been, does ice melt faster in hot water or cold water? It could have been, do seagulls fly farther than penguins? Again, just made up things. But nonetheless, it's giving an idea about what the purpose of the actual lab was. So the idea is to tell a story and to also tell the purpose and explain the purpose in a very short snippet uh, to kind of give a general idea about what you did. As I said, a very short snippet, and by being short, it really is. It's only just a few words, 10 or less. And by using those 10 words or less, they are, again, not to be used in a complete sentence. And that's going to be difficult because a lot of you are going to want to write a complete sentence and have some sort of punctuation at the end. And that's not necessary. All you need to do is kind of give a summation, a quick overview about what you did and maybe what you found. So, you know, ice melts faster in hot water. Is that a great title? Maybe not. But does that give you a purpose or a story of what you actually did? Yeah, it kind of does. But again, depending on the experiment, you will find that it could be a little bit longer, maybe eight words, and it could be a little bit shorter. Five words, four words, whatever it is. But those are things that we will work on and practice when doing your first actual lab in class.